Good morning everyone. I am going to be doing a what I eat in the day video keto style. So if you want to follow me around all day, see what kind of meals I eat on keto to try to lose some weight. <laughs> Still trying to lose all my pregnancy weight and I've got a ways to go. And I've had like a couple cheats since I started my keto journey on December 22nd is when I started and I've only lost nine pounds since then. I was taking these keto supplements that made me lose nine pounds in 10 days and then I have plateaued and maybe because of my cheat days that I had, I had two cheat days since December 22nd, so that definitely could be why. Or it could be because I'm not taking the supplements anymore, but I did order a new brand of supplements and I'm gonna try it for the first time today. I also weighed myself this morning and I'm two pounds heavier now. I don't know if it's water weight. I don't know if it's because I had those two cheat days. It could be many different things and I'm not really sure why. I did save that clip on my phone for if I ever get brave enough to share with you what I currently weigh, I will insert that video. But I don't have enough courage to share it yet. I think, I think I'm embarrassed of it and I shouldn't be because I just had a baby five months ago and up until December 22nd, I really wasn't trying to lose any of the weight. I was just watching what I was eating, but I wasn't purposely trying to lose any weight. So I definitely have a reason for my weight gain. Um, but anyway, I have that saved in my phone if I decide to share that with you. So the first thing I do when I wake up is make some coffee. And I also try to drink some water. So I don't know if you guys follow me on my Instagram, you saw where I set an alarm to make myself drink more water. I have not been as good, but I have been a lot better than I used to be by drinking water. So I am drinking a lot more. So I try to sip on this while my coffee is brewing. That way I've got some water in me before I just dehydrate myself some more. But I always have to start off with coffee. Staying at my mom's house this week, so I have to use her coffee machine. Which I really like this thing, because you can make a whole pot or you can just do one. But I pretty much like any coffee machine there is out there, because I love coffee. <laughs> Then I put a dash of heavy whipping cream because on keto you have to stay away from creamers and half and half. So I just like to make my coffee, maybe put that much in it, that might be enough. Yep, that was enough. And I also have this, it's vanilla syrup and it's zero carbs, but I looked at the ingredients, it does not have good ingredients in it. This was actually given to me um, by a friend who doesn't use this anymore. She gave it to me, I'm gonna use it because I don't wanna waste it, but um, if you want a vanilla or any kind of flavored syrup for your coffee, pay attention to the ingredients. You wanna stay away from a lot of these. Like, see some of these I cannot even pronounce, but I know that sucralose, that's not good for you. You wanna stay away from that. Just find, I mean, just use regular stevia if you want. That sweetens up your coffee plenty, but sometimes I add this, sometimes I don't, but today I am gonna skip it. So I'm gonna scroll through all my notifications, reply to messages that I get, depending on how long, Lawson will continue to sleep. I go through emails and then also bills as well. So while I sip on my coffee, I'm gonna do all those things and then I will meet you back here for lunchtime to show you what I'm eating. Lunch, last night on my Instagram story, I made these pizza pockets because I was craving pizza. So I found a keto recipe. Wow, there's only two left. I guess my husband took one to work. No, actually he took more than one because we had a lot left over, but anyway. And they're good enough to where like my husband wanted them and my husband's not doing keto. So I did it on my Instagram story. If you guys have not followed me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me over there because I do a lot of keto recipes that I don't include here on YouTube because I think it's just so much easier to do them on my Instagram. So I recommend that you preheat these by putting them in the oven if you can. I don't know how good it would be if you put it in the microwave. It might get soggy, but I'm putting it in there at 350 just for like 10 to 15 minutes just to get warm and crispy again. And then I'm also gonna pour just a little bit of this on the plate when it comes out of the oven, just so I have some marinara to dip it in. I really like this one. And then you can also dip it in ranch too if, you, if you're a person who likes pizza and ranch, which I definitely do. A lot of people think that's weird. I don't think it's weird. So this is the new brand of ketones that I'm going to try out. I tried Prove It and it worked great. Um, made me lose nine pounds in 10 days, which is amazing. But me and my mom did a lot of research and found out that this is the number one brand and it is more affordable than Prove It. So this is why I wanted to try this one. I have not even opened the package yet. I didn't even read the directions. I just got it in the mail yesterday. So you have to mix one scoop of this in 12 to 16 ounces of cold water and shake really good. And you can have this with or without food. This is the flavor Tiger's Blood. I will leave the link below for you if you would like to check it out yourself. I'm gonna measure out my water. I'm at my mom's house this week. This is the only cup of water I can find 
cups that I can shake it up in. I got almost 12 ounces. I'm gonna do like 15 ounces. I don't like those drinks to be really sugary or really strong is what I mean. All right, I actually do have 16 ounces of water in here. But I'm staying at my house. I have blender bottles that I can just measure it out in really quick, but I don't think my mom has any. Ooh, it smells good. It literally smells like a mixed drink that you would get like on an island vacation. That's what it smells like. Okay. This is also a 30 day supply as well. So this is supposed to help your body go into ketosis a lot faster than having to do it just strictly by diet. So I'm still sipping on my coffee. So I'm gonna have this and my coffee and my water. I'm literally gonna be triple fisting it. <laughs> Gotta stay hydrated when you're taking supplements like this, though. It's very important. It's really good. It tastes like juice. Okay, here it is. I've got some marinara on the side, and then here's the pizza pocket. I'm gonna cut it open to show you. That's what the inside looks like. It's got ground beef, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna insert the clip of me cooking it from my Instagram stories last night. So for those of you that like to follow my recipes on here, I'm making some keto pizza pockets. So all you need are, I'm doubling the recipe. So I used two of these instant yeast packets and then xanthan gum, I'm not really sure how to say that, xanthan, and then almond meal flour. So I've got all of the measurements right here and I mixed it up and now I need to add two eggs. I'm doubling the recipe, so I forgot that I have to add two more eggs, so a total of four eggs. And this is gonna make eight pita pocket, pe no, not pita pocket, pizza pockets. So that's why I'm doubling it, because I wanna have eight, that way I have lunch for tomorrow as well. So I have 10 tablespoons of cream cheese in here, under all this shredded cheese, and then I have three cups of mozzarella cheese, so you have to microwave this in 30 second intervals until it's all melted. So this is the egg and flour mixture I added. A little bit of basil I just eyeballed it I didn't measure it some garlic powder and then some hot and spicy seasoning because I want it to have a little bit of a kick to it this is what the mozzarella and cream cheese looks like once it's melted now I have to combine this into here and knead it for five to ten minutes until it forms a dough so this is what the dough looks like after it's all mixed now I'm just gonna cut them into eight pieces that way I can put the filling in there so I only can fit four at a time on this pan. So what I did was spread it out as best I could, and then I put ground beef in here. You can use sausage, like spicy Italian sausage, but I'm not in the mood for sausage. So I did ground beef instead, and then I had these pepperonis. I just took like three or four of them and rolled them up and then sliced them into strips to make it work. So now I have to get my hands wet and then, no, actually first, I have to add a couple sprinkles of mozzarella cheese on each of them and then fold them and like roll them into a ball sort of, so that way it's a pizza pocket. <laughs> okay, so that was really hard to do, and you can tell that this one's like, like that because it was ripping and the beef was coming through, so I took some from another and just added it on top. So now I have egg whites, and you have to brush that on top of here, and that gives it that golden color. So these are gonna go in the oven at 400 for 20 minutes. Just don't stuff too much in there and you should be good to go. I think I added way too much. This is what they look like when they come out of the oven. It smells really good. It smells like an actual pizza, and then I have marinara to dip it in. To make my green smoothie, all you need is half of an avocado, a handful of organic spinach, and then I'm just gonna kinda eyeball how much coconut cream I wanna add, so about that much. And then I put a dash of vanilla. I'm gonna do a sprinkle of chia seeds. Stevia, and then I'm using almond and coconut milk because this is less than one carb for one cup. Now I'm adding a bunch of ice so I want it to be cold. And then this is like a meal replacement because it's super thick and it's very filling. For dinner, I'm having the last pizza pocket and then I have a lot of water that I have to catch up on. So this is for dinner. For a quick snack, I have these cheese crisps. 
that I found at Kroger. They're just cheddar cheese that are melted into cheese bites. They're zero carbs, so that's why I picked them up. They have a very strong taste. It's very different, so I suggest getting a small bag of these and trying it out first. They also have Parmesan. They have Parmesan and cheddar, but I'm not a huge fan of the way it tastes, but I like to snack on things, so I figured this would be really good with some salsa. So this is the kind that I got. This is spicy. I didn't think it was going to be hot. That's good. I like it. Try it. What do you think about it, huh? Yeah. Hi. The next time I go, I'm going to try the Parmesan ones and see if those are less strong because this is a really, really strong cheddar taste. I don't like it by itself. I got the cheddar crisps thinking I could just snack on it like while watching a movie or something. But I tried it by itself and I was like, oh heck no. And then I started craving chips and salsa. And since I can't have chips, I figured this would be a good substitute for it and it's pretty good. I'm gonna make a cinnamon roll like one minute mug. Be no, <laughs> a one minute mug cake because I have a sweet tooth right now and I really want something sweet. So I found this recipe on Pinterest and it will be linked below for you in the description box in case you wanna make it yourself. But all you need is one, or I used one scoop of vanilla protein powder, which is put away. And then I used half of a teaspoon of baking powder and then one tablespoon of coconut flour and then I did half a teaspoon of cinnamon and now I have to do a tablespoon of sweetener so I'm using Swerve because it's zero carbs. One large egg. Without the shell, I got a shell in it. One fourth cup of milk, I'm using almond milk and it's unsweetened. Fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract. Oh, that's more. I'm just gonna do a couple drops of stevia, I don't need too much. Second. And then a half teaspoon of cinnamon, I already did that. Another half teaspoon of cinnamon? Hang on a second. Cinnamon is in here twice. I guess I'll do it again, just in case. I don't know why they would put it in here twice. Why wouldn't they just say one? If it's too cinnamony, I won't be able to eat it. Uh. Okay, now, so zoom in on the cup right here. I'm gonna stir it together. I didn't know you could zoom like that. Well, I can, because I know what to do. Okay, so I'm gonna stir it all together. You wanna try my cake? So for the glaze, I used one tablespoon of coconut butter is what you're supposed to use. I don't have coconut butter, I used grass-fed butter. Someone thinks it's funny to record me on his Snapchat story. And then I used a pinch of cinnamon, and so this is what it looks like when it comes out of the microwave. So I thought it was gonna rise more than that. The middle is a little bit doughy. I should have like evened it out a little bit to make it look better. But you know, I'm just eating it, so it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna pour the glaze on. Hopefully that soaks in it. Mm. Maybe just because I'm used to like really sweet <laughs> processed. Maybe that's why I don't. Actually, I like it. I changed my mind. I like it. I mean, I think it's pretty good for dessert that you can have when you're on a diet. You want to try it? No, I want you to try it. My brother said it tastes like bread. I think it tastes like cinnamon bread. I give it a 7 out of 10. I'm going to go see what Austin thinks. I need you to try this. Tell me what you think. What is it? A cinnamon roll cake mug thing. What? A cinnamon roll cake in a mug. Is it a drink? No, you eat it. Mm. 
and I think the more I eat it, the more I like it. The first bite, I was like, oh no. It's okay. But the more I eat it, so give it a, give it a number on scale from 1 to 10. 5. Oh, wow. I gave it a 7. You like sweets more. That concludes my what I eat in the day video because it's 7 and I can't eat anymore for the rest of the day. Besides drink water, which I still have a whole liter to go. So, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then please give it a thumbs up for me. It lets me know that you like videos like this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.